from New York to Paris to Hong Kong and now to Chicago where passion meets purpose Midwest Fashion Week is born you know one of the most amazing things about Midwest Fashion Week it's beyond the um, opportunity for the designers. The designers start up it, it, um, and established designers also showcase the line, their lines in fashion, but it also um, brings together a lot of opportunities for small business owners, for entrepreneurs, for startups in Chicago to come together um, and, and to create amazing things. We've um, featured people on our blog, different Q&As, um, so that we can get to know a part of everybody in the show um, and who partners with us on a stronger and better level. I think recently the fashion is getting to be more and more simplified. So I try to bring back the interesting detail and also the fabric manipulation, craftsmanship of our garments. In general, my uh, collection is mostly classic, sophisticated pieces that can be worn like years after you purchase it. Yeah, I mean, I think this uh, offers a great opportunity for uh, to give back to, to the community as well as, uh, you know, having a great people get together and, uh, you know, have a good time. So. In the Midwest, it's a different culture. So we want wanting to do something that can represent the Midwest culture, not necessarily adapting what you see in New York, what you see in Milan, what you see in Paris. I've done shows in those places. They each have their own, not that I'm bashing on them, they, it's their own culture. So being in the Midwest brings me a different sense of what you call the fashion industry. And that's what we do basically, connecting the dots. Almost of them are from Chinese toy and it's like, childhood memories and it's, I design the pattern and the print on the fabric then make the silhouette. Actually uh, the collection name Do You Wanna Play With Me is kind of like yeah play by myself yeah so it's like find some interesting in your life and play it with it. One of the things we do in the hospital when we're doing these parties is we help the kids make superhero capes and masks so they kind of get to play dress up in a sense and put on their, their suit of armor and in many cases I feel like fashion can also be that, that suit of armor and it's so cool to see this type of event and to include kids like Nick and to include our friends from the hospital in something like this where they're not typically involved and you know what we can look good and do good at the same time. There is a dragon, Chinese dragon here and also it's a bra outside so it's kind of cute and you can see the sleeve is very big because my inspiration comes from Chinese opera it's uh, like a costume on Chinese opera so I translate it into like modern fashion yeah so this is this piece my favorite Holiday Heroes is the organization is great you know um, they help kids who are in the hospital and pretty much down um, help them, you know, be, get happier with young parties and stuff. Inspirations mainly come from my childhood background in China. It's more like a restriction and release at the same time. So I also do research something about like with Korean area and also the young's, uh, young's uniform about Chinese students. My biggest message probably is the fact that we are providing diversity. We're providing something that is different, unique, and is very beautiful because there is a whole lot of diversity and a whole lot of opportunities for many people that actually are participating. A lot of people are participating to make this beautiful show, but then at the same time, I just understand different people's backgrounds, different stories, and where people are coming from. And I actually am super excited to actually see everybody unite for one common cause. And today we're actually uh, doing this for Holiday Heroes. This is Fashion for a Cause. Thank you.